Hey everyone, welcome to GeoMind. In this video, we are going to discuss about plate tectonics or geotectonics. My name is Swapnil and if you want to join my telegram group, I have given the link in the description below. Let's look at the content of this lecture. We will discuss about plate tectonic model, lithospheric plates, then we will discuss about plate boundaries, mid oceanic ridges, and if time allows, we will also discuss the fast and slow oceanic ridges, continental rifting, and type of continental rift. This video is going to be helpful for the students who are preparing for GSI, UPSC, or if they have IFOS examination, geology as a subject, or CSIR net, gate, jam, or any of, any of the state PCS examination, which have geology or even geography as the subject. Plate tectonic is a subject which is a favorite of the examiners and the questions do come from this subject very often. Let us start the concept of lithosphere and asthenosphere. Now this you have to understand in order to have an idea about plate tectonics. What is lithosphere and what is asthenosphere? Okay, you might have heard about lithospheric plates. Okay, so first we have to understand what is lithosphere. A lithosphere is basically the uppermost layer of the earth, which is cool, it is rigid, it is brittle in nature and the thickness of this layer is around 70 to 200 kilometers. Now you might be wondering that what about the earth's crust or mantle itself? Why we do not call the lithosphere as crust or mantle Okay, if we are talking about the asthenosphere? Well, you do know that the Lithosphere, asthenosphere are the terminologies which are used to describe the layers of the earth based upon its rheology. While the crust mantle core is the description based upon the chemical composition. Okay, the elements which are present in these layer. So this distinguishion, uh, distinguished uh, nature, you should know about it. Okay. So lithosphere is what cool rigid outer layer and the thickness you have to, uh, you have to uh, note okay while the lithosphere is composed of continental and oceanic crusts okay so you could say that crust lithosphere are basically same only the distinguishing feature is that how we define the layer okay if it is based upon rheology that is basically the rigidness or the weakness of the layer then we will call it as lithosphere asthenosphere and if we are talking about the chemical composition then we are calling it as crust or mantle then there is a second layer which is beneath the lithosphere it is called asthenosphere asthenes is basically the weak in greek to wahi se ye sab jo asthenosphere term hai wo ban ke aaya hai okay weak layer or weak sphere it is basically hot and partially melted. Also, it is plastic in nature. Okay, so if you stretch a plastic, it will slowly move. Okay, not very fast, but slowly it will move. So it is a slow flowing layer of the upper mantle. Okay, so asthenosphere is a part of upper mantle below the lithosphere and it extends about 350 to 650 kilometer beneath the earth uh, beneath the lithosphere okay so by the diagram you will be able to understand what i am talking about lithosphere versus asthenosphere so if you look at the right diagram here sorry left diagram here you can see there are two main layers right lithosphere and asthenosphere lithosphere is rigid while asthenosphere is weak 
plasticky and it is also mobile right so if let's say we put a load onto the asthenosphere the asthenos as on, onto the lithosphere the lithosphere will bend but asthenosphere will flow due to its weak and mobile nature all right so what is the concept asthenosphere flows while the lithosphere is rigid so it does not flow rather it bends okay so here you can see in the right diagram the crust oceanic crust which is rigid continental crust which is also rigid you can see the density okay of the oceanic crust which is 2.9 gram per centimeter cube which is similar to basalt around 3 and continental crust is lighter so that's why it, it is it flows uh, over the uh, uh, oceanic crust or you could say it is it is basically lighter version so that's why it is more thicker okay so it is around 2.7 gram per centimeter cube which is basically near the density of quartz right or feldspar so you could say that lithosphere consists of both oceanic crust continental crust let me just do it again okay so this grayish layer is lithosphere and lithosphere is a part of oceanic crust right and continental crust also the upper mantle upper mantle theek hai to iski thickness jo hai around 70 to 200 kilometers hoti hai कॉन्टिनेंटल क्रस्ट में इसको अगर जोड़ दें तो इसकी थिकनेस लगभग 200 किलोमीटर के आसपास होती है अराउंड 200 किलोमीटर बिकॉज कॉन्टिनेंटल क्रस्ट थिकर ओके व्हाई इट इज थिकर दिस वी हैव टू डिस्कस इन अनदर लेक्चर ओके वाइल इफ वी कंबाइन द ओशनिक क्रस्ट एंड द लिथोस्फेयर देन दिकनेस इज अराउंड सेवेंटी किलोमीटर ओके बट रिमेंबर लिथोस्फेयर डज मेक द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द मेंटल ऑल्सो ओके then there is asthenosphere which is deformable capable of flow and the asthenosphere's density is around 3.3 gram per centimeter cube which is the also density of upper mantle okay so asthenosphere makes the part of the upper lower part of the upper mantle okay you could say that it makes the lower part of the upper mantle while lithosphere consists of upper mantle oceanic crust and continental crust okay the thickness is around uh, the lithosphere uh, asthenosphere thickness is around 360 to 650 km okay this is in miles and this is in km so do not get confused 360 to 660 km aur ye aapko dhyan aur hoga ki transition zone ek hota hai transition zone ki boundary bhi jo lower boundary hoti hai that is around 660 kilometers what is transition zone you can comment down below okay your answer all right so i think it is clear that what is lithosphere what is asthenosphere right this is again the simplified layered structure of the earth's interior okay bahut hi acha diagram ye hai isko aap screenshot le sakte ho gsi mein question puche jate hain isse ki अर्थ का डायग्राम बनाइए वेल लेबल डायग्राम ठीक है तो अगर आपको ये पूछा जाता है कि बेस्ड अपॉन रियोलॉजी एंड बेस्ड अपॉन कंपोजिशन मेक द डायग्राम यू कैन मेक दिस डायग्राम आल्सो ओके राइट सो फेस ट्रांजिशन आपको पता है ऑलिविन टू स्पिनल इज अराउंड 660 किलोमीटर एंड यहां तक आपकी एस्टनोस्फेयर की लोअर पार्ट लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द एस्टनोस्फेयर और द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द अपर मेंटल राइट now we will talk about lithospheric sorry now we will talk about plate tectonics okay so this lithosphere we talked about this lithosphere we talked about is basically divided into large and small large and small plates theek hai ye pura ka pura jo lithosphere hai continental crust ko mila ke एंड अपर पार्ट ऑफ द अपर मेंटल को मिला के एंड ओशनिक क्रस्ट को मिला के ये प्लेट्स बनाता है इट मेक्स प्लेट्स कैसी प्लेट्स जो हमने यहां डायग्राम में देखी थी दीज 
these plates these plates are named some of some are large plates some are smaller plates theek hai ye hum dekhenge abhi aage to lithosphere basically ye plates banata hai and that's why we call them lithospheric plates since they are rigid and brittle that's why they are you know basically have they have basically boundaries okay they basically have boundaries so you can imagine them like in if you if you are making new house uh, you might have heard about tiles right tiles ko hum cement ke upar chipkate hain na to cement basically kya hota hai cement is weak and tiles are rigid so you can imagine like this that this cement part is basically asthenosphere and tile is the rigid part so tiles ki bhi boundaries hoti hain ek do tiles agar hum laga de teen char tiles laga de so similarly these are lithospheric plates which are basically the uh, minor and major depending upon the size and they move okay so these lithospheric plates basically flow over the asthenosphere how they flow because asthenosphere is weak okay so asthenosphere flows and over it you could say the lithospheric plates also flow and where there is a weak portion they break that's why there are so many lithospheric plates okay and at what rate these plate move they move at centimeters okay not meters per year rather they move very slowly okay at centimeters per year and these plates move over weak asthenosphere okay now plates may be composed of continental and oceanic lithosphere this we have discussed okay the destruction of oceanic lithosphere below oceanic trenches explain the occurrence of earthquakes and volcanoes adjacent to the trench kehne ka matlab kya hai ki ye jo लिथोस्फेरिक प्लेट्स होती हैं, इनका डिस्ट्रक्शन भी होता है कहां पे होता है जहां पे एक प्लेट दूसरी प्लेट के ऊपर एक प्लेट लेट्स से प्लेट नंबर वन दिस इज प्लेट नंबर टू वन प्लेट बेसिकली गोस डाउन बिनीथ द सेकंड प्लेट एंड इट गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड बिलो दी मेंटल तो इसको हम डिस्कस करेंगे बाद में इसको हम सबडक्शन जोन भी कहते हैं और कन्वर्जन बाउंड्रीज भी कहते हैं ठीक है ना दिस प्लेटोनिक थ्योरी वॉज बेसिकली द मॉडर्न थ्योरी बिफोर दिस the sea floor spreading theory was given okay but the plate tectonic theory was given by j uh, tuzo wilson okay then mckenzie parker and morgan ne ye puri theory ko confirm kiya and uska naam diya gaya plate tectonics theory okay so the first it was proposed by jt wilson in 1965 after that uh, the mckenzie parker and morgan basically formulated the theory okay based upon the jt wilson's identification of the transform fault and it gave the birth to plate tectonics theory okay the question agar aa sakta hai ki jt wilson ne kaise uh, plate tectonic model ko formulate kiya it he formulated it based upon the identification of the transform faults okay because transform faults occur along the boundaries okay uh, lithospheric boundaries lithospheric plate boundaries okay so there are seven major and some minor plates okay and they are surrounded by the four mountains volcanic arcs ridges trenches these are basically the landforms which surround these major boundaries and minor boundaries because at the boundaries there is very intense geological activities like volcanoes earthquakes okay to wo hum dekhenge abhi तो जो सात मेजर लिथोस्फेरिक प्लेट्स हैं वो आपको ध्यान में रखना है ये 94 परसेंट ऑफ द अर्थ सरफेस को फॉर्म फॉर बेसिकली फॉर्म करते हैं ओके इट आल्सो कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओशंस आल्सो ठीक है तो नॉर्थ अमेरिकन साउथ अमेरिकन पैसिफिक अफ्रीकन यूरेशियन इंडो ऑस्ट्रेलियन एंड अटार्टिक प्लेट्स आर बेसिकली दी लार्ज प्लेट्स एंड सम देर आर इंटरमीडिएट साइज प्लेट लाइक करीबियन नास्का फिलिपींस अरेबियन कोकोस स्कोशिया वन डी फूका प्लेट्स आर देयर Okay. तो इनके नाम आपको याद करने हैं ठीक है तो हियर यू कैन सी दैट लार्ज प्लेट्स आर देयर लाइक अरेबियन प्लेट अफ्रीकन प्लेट अरेबियन प्लेट इज इंटरमीडिएट प्लेट अफ्रीकन प्लेट बेसिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्टिनेंट अफ्रीका एंड आल्सो द ओशनिक पार्ट आल्सो ठीक है क्योंकि ओशन तो इसके ऊपर है ना सिमिलरली देयर इज ऑस्ट्रेलियन इंडियन प्लेट ओके 
some might think that it is breaking along this region okay but it's still it is indo australian plate which consists of india and australia some part of the indian ocean right then there is pacific plate which is one of the largest okay then north american plate also one of the largest south american caribbean okay so a map jo hai it is very very important okay and here you can see the minor plates like bismarck plate okay bismarck was one of the german leaders iske naam pe ye plate ka naam de rakha hai then there is iranian plate okay philippine plate cocos plate caribbean juan de fuca is very smaller and scotia plate is also very small okay and this these arrow shows that where the plates are moving currently like for example african plate ki arrow kuch is tarike se hai this is north this is south this should be east this should be west so if the question arises that at in which direction the arabian plate is moving the arabian plate is moving towards eastern direction well if the question arises that in which direction the indian plate is moving the indian plate is moving toward northeast direction right look at this arrow while the north american plate is moving toward west or northwest okay to ye kuch factual questions aa sakte hain inse theek hai to ye aap note kar lena now there are plate boundaries theek hai a plate boundaries kya basically the boundaries between the two plates theek hai like if i say the boundary between half uh, the boundary between the pacific or the nazca or the boundary between african and south american plate is this one right is this one okay the boundary between north american and eurasian plate is this one caribbean plate and african plate is this one right similarly indian plate eurasian plate is this one himalaya ki baat kare to eurasian plate aur indian plate ki boundary hai ye wali ठीक है दीज आर नोन एज प्लेट बाउंड्रीज प्लेट बाउंड्रीज आर बेसिकली ऑफ थ्री मेन टाइप्स ओके थ्री मेन टाइप्स डाइवर्जेंट प्लेट बाउंड्रीज नाम से पता चल रहा है कि जहां पे दो प्लेट जो हैं आपस में अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में एक दूसरे से दूसरे से दूर होती जा रही है वेयर द प्लेट्स आर मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दिस इज नोन एज डाइवर्जेंट बाउंड्री डाइवर्जेंट ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस प्लेट द एरो ऑफ द प्लेट यू कैन सी वन लेट से दिस इज नंबर वन दिस इज नंबर टू ओके द फर्स्ट प्लेट इज मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द सेकेंड प्लेट इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो इन दिस केस द लैंड फॉर्म विच फॉर्म्स इज द मिड ओशनिक रिच मिड oceanic ridge okay similarly there is also another boundary in which two plates are moving towards each other okay this is known as convergent boundary convergent boundary okay now depending upon the nature of the plate there can be subduction zone or there can uh, be the collisional orogeny ओके कोलिजनल ओरोजन यानी कि माउंटेन बिल्डिंग इफ इफ द प्लेट इज ओशनिक प्लेट एंड अनदर प्लेट इज कॉन्टिनेंटल प्लेट देन दैवियर प्लेट हैवियर प्लेट विल ऑलवेज सबडक्ट बिनीथ इट विल ऑलवेज गो डाउन बिनीथ द लाइटर प्लेट हाउ वी नो दैट वन प्लेट इज हैवियर एंड अनदर प्लेट इज लाइटर always remember that oceanic plate oceanic plate will always be the heavier plate why because it is made up of basalt and basalt is the heavy rock okay it is made up of heavy minerals okay so that's why the oceanic plate is heavy and dense while the continental plate is made up of lighter minerals like quartz feldspar okay these have low density that's why they are lighter so obviously the heavy will sink down below the lighter plates okay so here you can see the example this is the basaltic oceanic plate which is going down below the uh, below the continental crustal 
plate okay so in this case you will have subduction like that of andes mountain okay यहां पे फिर आपके वॉल्कनिक आर्क नाम के फीचर देखने को मिलेंगे एंड यहां पे ट्रेंच भी आपको देखने को मिलेगी ट्रेंच ठीक है लाइक मरियाना ट्रेंच आपने सुना होगा ओके यू मैट हर्ड अबाउट मरियाना ट्रेंच ओके द डीपेस्ट ट्रेंच इन द प्लैनेट ओके विच इज इन जापान ओके नाउ द थर्ड बाउंड्री इज द ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉर बाउंड्री ओके ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉर बाउंड्री इज बेसिकली द बाउंड्री इन विच द two plates are sliding past each other in this case nothing is getting destroyed and nothing is basically forming okay yahan pe number 1 jo case tha divergent plate boundaries mein yahan pe kya ho raha tha lava or magma it was rising it was forming a new ocean floor okay kyunki kya ho raha tha lava upar aa raha tha space is being created because two two plates are moving apart if two plates are moving apart yahan beech mein space create hoga space create hoga to lava aayega lava kya form karega mid oceanic ridge form karega aapka new brand new ocean floor will be there so it is also known as constructive plate boundary okay while the second case convergent plate boundary mein kya ho raha this down going plate is getting destroyed below the mantle so this is also known as destructive plate boundary okay destructive subduction zone or convergent plate boundary while in transform fault nothing is happening nothing is getting destroyed nothing is getting formed in this case one plate is sliding past each other okay in a opposite direction okay so strike slip fault jaisa hota hai waise is tarike se yahan pe aapka transform fault hai transform fault is a type of strike slip fault only the difference is that transform fault is bounded by the active plate boundary okay so these three are the three main plate boundaries okay and we will discuss them one by one in another lecture all right so by this we will conclude the lecture in next case uh, in the next lecture we will discuss thoroughly about divergent plate boundaries and mid oceanic ridges okay to so, usme hum discuss karenge ki mid oceanic ridge kya hoti hai स्लो एंड फास्ट ऑन सीरीज होती है ओके ऑल दिस वी विल डिस्कस ऑल राइट सो टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड गुड बाय होपली यू हैव लाइक द लेक्चर कमेंट डाउन बिलो इफ यू लाइक द लेक्चर एंड डू सब्सक्राइब इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू